Now let's talk about sex sounds today. It's been ages that I talked about how to moan and look and sound sexy while making out. Because my me, sounding sexy in bed is an art that makes sex feel so much sexier. See, listen, there is more to great sex than just a good long shag. And I'm here to help you make sounds like a sex superstar in no time. <sighs> That's sexual enough. That's, that can be arousing enough to you, partner. But first, let's look at why moaning makes everything sexy sexier. Silent lovemaking is great, but nothing can beat the sultry, seductive moan of some sexual appreciation in bed. And the best way to enjoy great sex is to learn how to moan and make the right kind of sex sounds in bed. And, you know, just enjoy the things that make you go, mm. When it comes to the bedroom, I know that we're a little too insecure about everything. Most times we find ourselves asking, oh, does my hair look stupid? Do I look unattractive naked? Do I sound okay while moaning? It's normal to feel these things, but if you are insecure about your moaning, learning how to moan in a more alluring way might just help you, okay? Truth be told, the truth be told, ladies, the person that you're sleeping with probably doesn't mind your moaning either way if they really love you. However, if you're the type um, to moan in such a loud, uncontrolled way that it sounds like a dying, a dying, a dying rat or a whaley banshee, I think refining that sound would do you a lot of favor. See, moaning can be a huge turn on to some people, whether you're a guy or a girl, whether you're a man or a woman, moaning can be something that really gets you going. And that being said, if you're really bad at it and it's something that your partner likes a lot, you might want to try sounding a lot better because adjusting how you moan to be sexier can make a huge difference if your significant other is really into it. It's no different than altering the way you kiss or do any other sex activity or act. Even though moaning is more of a natural thing that happens when you feel pleasure, it's possible to practice doing it in different ways. It's been a long time that I actually sat down to moan. <laughs> okay, so practice how to moan. Ultimately, just doing certain moan for so long can change how naturally you do it. Okay, so here we go on how to moan sexy in bed. Let me tell you, um, that panting softly into each other's ears is a huge turn on, especially if your voice is drowning in sexual passion. <sighs> That's sexual enough. That's, that can be arousing enough to your partner. To most people, speaking in bed is a taboo and speaking aloud about fantasies is way out of question. But to really enjoy a good sexy conversation in bed you need more than just a sexy body you need a sexy mind and a sexier voice so heat the lights get into the sheets and play by the rules to hit the highest note in your orgasmic voice women we've got to realize that learning the right kind of sex sounds and moans isn't actually about the words you use or the quotes that you pull out out of a cheap paper bag all right? It's all inside you. Even you just saying, I love you, or do you like what I do to you, or do you like what I'm doing to you, can send such heat down your man's spine. Understanding how to moan in a sexy way can be easy if you know how to go about it. A sultry, sexy, low voice that's gasping with passion can do wonders in bed. Have you ever tried talking really softly while you're in shit with your partner. Talk softly to turn your mate and always, always appreciate your partner and the activities both of you are doing in bed. So if you like the way your hands feel over your man's back, let them know. Whisper it and don't stop your hands from wandering around. If you like how his joystick is growing in your hands, you just say it. 
I love how your joystick is growing. I love how my hands can make your joystick grow from three inches to six or seven inches. I love it. I love how you grow in my hands. You know, accentuate your words with nibbles, kisses, and surprise moves. So while you're telling him, I love how your body feels inside of me, twist or you grab his joystick that is inside your juicy pot with your juicy pot, with the walls of your juicy pot. It will make come in his head. <laughs> so do you want to moan and groan, but you just don't know how to go about it because you've never done it before? Well, it's always the first time for anything, right? So to keep your moaning subtle, take the help of a good seductive album or pick a sexy song like Miguel. Miguel is a badass person. Play your favorite sexy uh, music playlist while getting frisky and see how you feel when you reciprocate your partner's move with moans. You might just end up loving it. Now, another good reason for you to play those music notes is the rhythm that it brings into your sheet. Sometimes you can match your thrust with the rhythm. So the next time that you decide to talk dirty and moan back and moan in bed, keep the silence at bay with some mood music. Don't go and be following all those sounds, all those moanings and groanings that you see in X-rated movie. It might be better right there in movies, but in reality, it's quite frightening because it's I mean, very unrealistic and fake. So if you want to know how to moan in a sexy way and make all the right kind of sex sounds, then learn to keep it simple in reality. Don't go shouting insults and dirty abuses at your partner. Or shout like a warrior in a war front, in a battlefield. No, 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 no. You are, we're not battling. What are we battling? We're not battling now. It's not bloodbath here. <laughs> it's lovemaking. <laughs> so you don't want to confuse your man. You don't want him thinking, ah, what is happening here? Is this war? Is there something that she's supposed to be telling me that one? Are we preparing for war? What is going on? Are we going into war? It, see, it may seem terribly exciting to you, but to your mates, that could really climb up to number one reason why they hate sex with you. <laughs> so use words that can connect both of you. And just so you know, there is nothing sexier than calling out your lover's name while making, making love. It's intimate, it's arousing, it's just way too sexy. Also, if you ever are going to moan, please bring in that sultry moan. A sexy voice is definitely cool, fantastic, but a seductive moan of appreciation can take your lover to a frenzy honey land. So indulge your moan every now and then. It's a way of expressing excitement and pleasure. Because just sounding sexy or moaning now and then lets your, your man know that you're really enjoying what you're doing. And it also shows that you're losing control and flying into ecstasy land. We see it in movies all the time, but you don't have to do exactly what they do. Show your appreciation by making some noise and see how you like it. It doesn't have to happen only while having sex. You can moan while cuddling or even while kissing. But most importantly, it's a great way to let your lover know that you're enjoying what he's doing to you or what's going on. And just in case you do fall in love with moaning and talking sexy in bed, just be considerate of your neighbors and avoid screaming. Just be respectful of your neighbors, okay? Please. Because I can remember one time like that years ago, my neighbors wanted to kill me with money. And it was so bad that their doors were close to my um, apartment. So I could hear the, I could hear the ta, 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 like bodies slamming. So you, I literally in my head, I'm like, I'm imagining this sound that I'm hearing is like this doggy style that is given, of course. It cannot be missionary. Missionary cannot be given that kind of loud sound like, And we are, I am in my, <laughs> I'm in my bedroom like, God, when, when have I not been faithful enough? 
Have I not stayed away from iniquities? Have I not stayed, for, stayed away from fornication? What is all of this? Why can't I have my own husband? But those people, they were not married though. Because at that time, they were fornicating hard. And the next, and, and, and on Sunday, you see them carry the Bible to church. And I'm like, wow. Wow. Eh? So what are they going to church to do? To praise God. And they will come back and do the same ta ta ta. No nights that they are not ta ta away. <laughs> All those people in church that used to raise holy hands, used to raise hands, those their hands, they used it to smack. In fact, let me just leave. Let me not judge. <laughs> judge so that you not be judged. Also, use your body while talking sexy. Use your hands. You know, a lot while you're moaning and getting naughty in bed. If you want to compliment his broad shoulders, then run your hands along it as, you know, you tell him how sexy it is. Or if it's her soft back that turns you on, then nibble on her neck and shoulders as you whisper, you know, compliments to her. Then again, connecting the talk and the body can make moaning and dirty talk feel so much steamier. And don't ever let your hands stay in one place. Let them wander like you just can't get enough of them. You just can't get enough of their body. All right? If they've got nice butts, rub your hands around their butts, their backs, and their thighs. Just go for the pleasure points that you know. The ones that can turn your man on like there is no tomorrow. See, I need you to know that the mixture of passion and pleasure can arouse your man like never before. And you would have figured out how to moan in bed and sound sexy even without going overboard or feeling awkward. Now that you know the basics of how to moan and sound sexy in bed, let's get to the tips that will help make you even much more better. So here is also how to moan in a sexy, lustful way. Number one, listen to yourself while with your significant order. Don't just zone out completely. Sure, you want to get into it. You want to enjoy it. But pay attention to what you sound like naturally. You have to be aware of what your partner is hearing if you want to adjust. Number two, listen to yourself while masturbating. If you're not really able to pay attention to how you naturally sound with your significant other, then listen while you're touching yourself. Then you don't have to worry about what you sound like during that time. It just helps you let it all out so that you can really figure out where you should go from there. And make sure that you're home alone, then go to town. And then when you go to town, let your moan out loud and natural so that you can figure out what it truly sounds like. Number three, record yourself. If you really want to hear what you sound like, just record yourself while you're getting busy with your partner or even with yourself. Sometimes we can't always truly hear what we sound like. You might think that you sound horrible only to find out that you really do sound sexy naturally. It's all about perspective. You might not be able to truly hear your own moaning unless you hear it from another source, okay? So you can record yourself and then delete it later on. Number four, start out soft and quiet. There is no need to be really loud when you moan right away. See, one way for you to make it really sexy is to start off with a softer moan. Keep your mouth closed, even, all right? And just start with groaning sounds. The build-up to full sexy moon will definitely drive your partner crazy in the best way. And this also sounds a lot more natural and it will sound fake when there is a real build-up, honestly. I think that it should basically be tied to your pleasure. The more pleasure that you're feeling, the louder your moon will be. Number seven, say their name. Say their name. Now, one way for you to learn how to moan in a really sexy way is to drop your significant other's name in your, while, while you're getting it on. Not only will they enjoy hearing you moan, but when your name comes from your lips in the middle of, you know, the making up session, it will make them even hornier. You just have to make sure to say the 
right name <laughs> so if you're currently having casual sex with a couple of different people just be aware that using the wrong name can ruin everything number eight use some dirty talking dirty talking while moaning can be one of the hottest things that you could ever do all you really have to do is ask if they like it you can even just say how good it feels it's very simple to throw some casual dirty talk in with a moon here and then that will increase how sexy it sounds even if the morning isn't the nicest now number nine don't scream you might see a couple you know x-ray 10 movie of people screaming with pleasure and those aren't really realistic yes you can feel pleasure that intense but that level of noise is almost never realistic and your partner will feel like you're faking it so just keep it just keep the decibels down you can indicate that there is an intense pleasure without having to scream that sound you hear there isn't usually sexy either number 10 see what they seem to like best um, what your man likes best see it's going to be completely dependent on what your significant other likes more so if they truly prefer you the way you sound naturally then don't change anything even if you sound like a dying rat they <laughs> they might also prefer you to keep it a little quieter and not be too loud so figure out what your man seems to respond best to and keep doing it number 11 don't do too much you see watching x rated movie is great for hearing sexy, sexy moans, but they can also be a little unrealistic depending on the video that you choose to watch. So just don't do too much. Moaning in the same tone and really loud for a long time is pretty good an indicator that you've been doing it too much. So you have to stop it. And men are not stupid, they can figure out. Number 12, don't moan directly into your man's ears. You have to be conscious about where your mouth is going to in relation to their ears. It might sound really sexy to moan loudly while wrapped around them, but it can be super loud and could hurt their poor ears. And that's not fun for anyone. Number 12, just let out, just let it out naturally and don't worry about it your mom probably isn't nearly as bad as you think it is if it sounds genuine i think the other person is going to like it so don't worry um, so much about how you sound and just enjoy the sex instead because if you're too focused on what you sound like you won't have as much fun and it won't feel as good as it should be and that means that you won't be genuinely moaning either and when that happens your partner can tell that you're faking it so when it comes to learning how to moan in a sexier way and make all the right kind of sex sounds in bed it's really important um how you feel and what your partner seems to like so i would advise you not to fake it just enjoy it and go with the flow because the more natural that you are the better your moan will sound and feel like okay um so this is where we ended and uh, until i come your way when i come your way do know that i love you and god loves you best Mwah.